Hello, my amazing artist. I'm here with my daughter Allegra today, and we are going to the zoo along with Miss Sample. And you can too. Follow my links, and you can go to some live footage at the zoo right now and see some of the animals and what they're doing. So today, Allegra and I are going to teach you how to make hippos, and they're super cool and three-dimensional. Come along with us. All right, friends, well, we're gonna show you a neat trick on how to make our hippo symmetrical. What does symmetrical mean, Allegra? It means they're the same on each side. Yep, it's the same on each side. So we're gonna do that by making a line of symmetry, and we can do that by folding our paper in half, hot dog style. Alrighty, and then we open it back up. And I'm going to just draw half of my hippo. And I'm gonna start by doing his snout, which is kind of square rectangular shape. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna draw like a curved rectangle. Good. And then I'm gonna draw the side of his face up here. Also just like a curved rectangle. And we'll give him some curved rectangle ears. We're just gonna do the one that's on this side. Good, and now I'm gonna give him his eyeball. I'm gonna do an oval. You can do whatever kind of eyes you want. I'm going to do an oval and then round, 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 round for his eyeball. And I'm gonna come over here a little bit and do a curly cue. This is going to be for his nostril, his breather hole. And then his mouth, for his smile, we're gonna start here and curve around to there. Great. Now for his shoulder, I'm gonna come over here and just draw a line like that for his shoulder. Now, here's the trick. I'm gonna take my paper and fold it the hot dog style again so that the drawing part is on the outside. Got it, so there's my drawing. And here's the side I'm gonna draw on. And I don't know if you can tell through the camera, but we can see through this. So we can see what we just drew. So if you're following along with us and you were using a marker, you should be able to see all the lines that you did. And now we can just trace over top of our lines. Now we're going to open it back up and there is our symmetrical hippo. If you need to fill in a few gaps right where the line of symmetry was, you can. There we go. I'm also going to add some jungle grass in the background and I'm gonna do that just by using some lines. Just making some upside down these and change the shape. Great! Now it's time to color. Well, we are all done coloring and I like the way you chose blue for your hippo allegra and a purple background. That looks great. Thank you. Now you can leave it like this or you can add a cool three-dimensional effect where we make it look like his mouth is moving. So to do that, we have to have a, another sheet of paper for the inside of his mouth. So I only need half of this sheet of paper for that. So I'm gonna fold this in half and then I'm going to cut on the line. And 
and it doesn't have to be a perfect line because we're gonna be gluing this behind our hippo. I'm gonna take this paper and just put it to the side for now because I'm gonna use it again in a little bit. And then I'm gonna take my marker and I'm gonna draw a big, huge rainbow line. And that is going to be my hippo's tongue. So I'm going to outline it with a red marker. And then I'm gonna color inside the tongue red with crayon and I'm gonna color the outside here with a pink crayon. Now we are done coloring our tongues and let's start cutting out our mouth. Now to do this, we're going to fold our hippo again, hot dog style. And I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm going to cut along the mouth and stop. Now see, pretty cool that we made it symmetrical because it cuts the same on both sides. Now we need to fold this. So I'm gonna take the mouth and fold it up like a triangle shape right there. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. You put your scissors down. triangle. I'm going to flip it and do it this way too because we want to make sure that it's really creased. Okay, then we're going to open it back up and pop it out there a little bit. Now here, where this fold is, I'm gonna straighten this out and have my mouth pop out a little bit. So I'm gonna have to fold it there. I'm gonna grab it like this and fold it again, hot dog style on the inside this time now. And it takes a little bit of maneuvering. There you go, you got it. Make sure it's folded. There you go. Okay, now when we open it back up, we should be able to see him moving. Let's take our tongue and put it behind him. And you can see what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna fold my tongue too. Let's see. Line it up. That looks good. Mine goes right to the bottom. Does yours line up right to the bottom? Yeah, pretty good. Now let's take our glue stick and put some glue all the way around. And I think we're gonna add some fun little hippo teeth. So that piece of paper that we said to put off to the side, I'm just gonna cut out of it two rectangles. And I'm not even gonna draw them first, I'm just gonna cut. And then with our two rectangles, I'll put some glue on the top. And I'm gonna glue them behind. I might fold those a little bit too. Here's Ta-da! Super cute.
I love our little hippos. All right, friends. Well, we hope that you had fun making some hippos with us. See you next week.